Eric and Charles are on their high school track and field team. Eric is participating in hurdles and the javelin. For every five hours that Eric spends practicing hurdles, he practices the javelin for five and a half hours. Okay, Charles is participating in a relay race and the javelin. For every five hours that Charles spends practicing the relay race, he practices the javelin for 15 hours. So five hours for hurdles, for one and a half hours, for the javelin. Okay, and Charles is five hours for the relay race and two and a half hours for the javelin. Okay, if Eric participated, uh, sorry, practice hurdles for 15 hours last week, okay, um, and Eric and Charles practiced javelin for the same amount of time. How much time did Charles practice for the relay race? So 15 hours for hurdles for Eric. Okay, is how much time with the javelin? So we've got to start there. So we have five and one and a half. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply. 15 times 1.5 equals 5 times our question mark. So 15 times 1.5 is 22.5. Okay, and we're going to divide both sides by 5. 5 goes into 20 four times with uh, 2 left over. 5 goes into 25 five times. So he spent four and a half hours on the javelin. Now it tells us that Eric and Charles practice the javelin for the same amount of time. So we know that Charles spent four and a half hours on the javelin and we need to know how many hours he was there for the relay race. So he started with five, two and a half, Okay, so we're going to cross multiply. Four and a half times five equals two and a half times question mark. So we've got 22.5 equals two and a half times something. So we divide both sides by two and a half. No, two and a half and two and a half is five. So that would be 10. That would mean that it could go in nine times. So Charles spent nine hours practicing the relay race.